What's up guys, Dozero3 here, and week one team of the week has arrived with not really any surprises. So, there's one thing I want to show you after this. We're going to do our usual overview of the team of the week program for the week. Who do we have? Let's see if I can find my way. Alright, so here we go. We can look here at our players. Let's give them a look. Let's look at what they did to get there. Let's see what we got. So we have Bruce Irvin. He's required for the AJ Green set. His cheapest is 180k with the pass rusher chemistry. And let's see. I'm trying to see. It doesn't say what he did because last year it did say blah, 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 did whatever. So I was trying to see what Bruce Irvin did because I want to tell you guys what they did. So Bruce Irvin, the new Raiders player, gets himself a team of the week in the first game of the season. Carson Wentz, I, did, I didn't see the game, but I saw the highlights. Carson Wentz had a really good game against the Browns. His card is going for about 20k right now. Let's compare this card to our Alex Smith. And we'll compare to Cam Newton's weekly uh, limited use card too. And here he is against uh, Alex Smith. As you can see, he beats him. And not too much besides throw power and speed. So not a bad card, but for 20k, I can't see you using this card unless you use it for the AJ Green set. So really interesting that Quan Alexander, the Buccaneers middle linebacker, 17k, not too bad. He has a really cool chemistry. He has the battle-ready chemistry, which when you have that random tackle sequence with the button, his is always the A button, which is really cool. So that way you don't have to guess what the random button's going to be. It's always A. So that's actually a very useful chemistry that I really like. Spencer Ware, I had him in fantasy this week. I picked him up, literally, no joke, five minutes before game started. I threw him in the lineup because I didn't have too much confidence in Giovanni Bernard. This guy got me like 25 points or 29 points, something like that. He had a great week, and he's not too expensive. 93 carrying with 89 truck. That's a good card. Let's compare him with our elite Matt Forte. So as you can see, Matt Forte is the better running back, but Spencer Ware is faster and he has better carrying and better trucking. So not a bad card there for less than 10K. And the last player is Deshaun Sneed. On the Seahawks, it looks like. Now, I've never heard of this guy before. And he's going for 7,500. He's a 79 corner. See, I wish it showed you what they did so I knew what he did to get here. He has the Seattle defense chemistry. And that is all for the set, which gets you A.J. Green, who torched Darrell Revis for, I believe, 180 yards, a touchdown. I saw the touchdown because I did have that game on. That game was on. Uh, TV as well as the Jaguars Packer game, which I thought was a better game anyway, but AJ Green torched Revis Now I do want to talk about the players one guy I thought was gonna get one was Victor Cruz because you know He came back after 700 days got a game-winning touchdown But I understand it because AJ Green had a better game and they don't want to double up on positions So I like the team of the week program for the week and what I like even better is that the team of the week game is back They brought the team of the week game back and I don't know if it, the whole plan was to do it now and ignore it for the preseason. Or they saw how pissed every fan of the game was. And they decided to bring it back for that reason. But for whatever reason, it's back. So we're going to play it. And that way you can kind of see how some of these guys will play. Anyway, I mean, obviously I don't control them. But I guess you'll see them in action at least. And it's confirmed. The best part is it's confirmed that you get the badges again to get the team of the year. So I find that awesome. They brought back that free team of the year card just for playing team of the week. Which, let's do some simple math here why it's so good to do this. 16 team of the weeks is 32,000 coins. Because you get 2,000 coins apiece. Not to mention a free team of the year player. Which, if you get him, you can sell it. At least last year you could sell it. But this year, Madden seems to love the non-auction, no-trade stuff. So, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do with it. But you know what? This year, scheme, chemistry, style, whatever you call it, doesn't matter as much. So, whoever I get, I'm keeping. And I'm going to use them for the team. So, let's get into our Team of the Week game against the Cincinnati Bengals. We're still rocking the Redskins throwbacks. And, whoa, it's a situational. Oh, that's so nice. It's not even a full game, guys. And by the way, the 48 hour is Harrison Smith. You can see him up in the left of your screen. Top left, pretty much directly above number 13, Mike Evans. He was the 48 hour hero. We're going to try to pull for him tomorrow. Now, what I like is it's not a full game anymore. It's a journey situation type of game where they throw you into the game and you got to make a comeback or hold the lead. In this case, we got to make a comeback, but it's not a full game anymore, which is really nice. It's going to save a lot of time. 
but the rewards still are really nice. And there's Jeremy Macklin, our new purchase. There's Harrison Smith. And oh, he got pushed out of bounds at the 32. Jeremy Macklin's first catch as a member of the Gorals. I don't know how much you guys have seen of this new team that I got with Macklin, Khalil, Forte. So this might even be a little gameplay video. And Forte breaks the tackle. Forte is an awesome card. This guy's an animal. I'm really happy I got him. Also, the prices of things went down. So I got to around 20k. I bought Macklin. And I bought their new right tackle, Sebastian Vollmer. My line is much better. I'm much more comfortable. I don't get pressured as much. The run game is improved. And not a catch there for Edelman. So yeah, I like how they changed it from a full game to a Madden moment play. So let's do this. Let's try to beat the Bengals here for our team of the week collectible. We're going to have 15 more to go. But for a free team of the year, I can take that. Because they, when they release team of the year, the cards really, there's always like 191 card. But besides that one, and last year that was Tyler Lockett. Besides that 190, 191 overall card, they're actually really good usable cards. So there's Forte, who does have value as a receiving back as well. So how much time? Is it a three minute or five minute? It's a three minute fourth quarter. Second down and five. We might as well kill a little time while we're here. We are down four, so we need a touchdown to advance and win the game. No timeout there from the Bengals, which is better. So we can just kill the clock and hopefully score. That's definitely the goal here is to score a touchdown and win the game. What am I looking for? Where is my fullback run? There it is. So we're going to show off Jalston Fowler, the hero that we got of the Titans. I'm super excited for uh, heroes for October. Fowler, I really hope it's a first down and not inches. First down, we totally own the clock now. So yeah, uh, I'm really excited for the October heroes. I don't know if they're going to be random cards that are selected or if they're actually going to be based off of how the player performed in the month. I hope the Giants is... Just because, like I told you guys before, I'm going to try to get every Giant just because that's a team I'm a fan of. So, I'm going to try to get every Giant just for me. And I, So, I guess for me, I'm hoping it's Victor Cruz. He's never my alt. He was never one of my favorites, but, you know, coming back from the injury and not giving up... You know, there's a lot of guys who would just sit down and just quit when you have a big injury like that. So, no matter how good or bad he is when he comes off this injury, he looked good last night in Dallas, but no matter how good or bad he is, I gotta give him some credit, you know, for not listening to the people that were shitting on him. So, I hope he gets it, but I really won't complain with anyone because it's a free elite, pretty much. I'm already saving Giants cards for next month, so we're gonna get that done, guaranteed. Now, we just gotta hold the lead here against Team of the Week Bengals. Which, ugh. my defense, you never know. I don't think I bought anything on defense that you guys haven't yet seen. Let me just scroll through. Oh, yeah, we did buy Brandon Williams, the 81 Bengals defensive tackle. Just to shore up the defensive line. I do typically play as Mike Daniels or JPP. All right, so that's Wentz. You guys are going to see a lot of Carson Wentz now. Uh, you got AJ Green on your left, and I think that's it. Now, one guy, again, I did talk about Victor Cruz getting snubbed. I'm not shocked because of his position, but I was hoping, or not really hoping, but I kind of thought Dan Bailey might get a Team of the Week. I know he's a kicker, so I get that, that Madden doesn't want to do a Team of the Week kicker for Week 1. But last year for the playoffs, they did J.J. Watt running back, so I don't think you can fuck up worse than that. But Dan Bailey, that guy was almost the death of the Giants last night because he was hitting... 57 yarders so I'm sitting there and I'm watching them if Terrence Williams didn't go full idiot move and stay in bounds Dan Bailey probably could have hit the field goal from where he was standing so Dan Bailey was a champ yesterday and he was he was nailing field goals all night with no wind that's what I was most impressed about I mean I knew Dan Bailey was good and Morgan Burnett with the pick and we won but yeah Dan Bailey with no wind hit it a 56 yarder and I can tell you, I was watching the game, obviously. There was at least six or seven yards extra on that kick. That was a nice kick. And there was no win. So that was really good. I don't like him because he's a cowboy. But if there's ever a team of the week kicker, it's going to be him. And that's Mike Evans. 
because why not get some extra yards, right? Mike Evans all the way down to the 16, 37 yards from Alex Smith. Looking to switch my quarterback up, but I don't want to spend money to do it, so whatever. Because quarterback's one of those things in Madden, I like to switch it up a lot just because I get bored with the same people. So maybe we'll do another Team Hero next month for a quarterback. We're at the point, though, where we have another half a month more of September. And these Team Heroes expire on October 1st, I believe. Yeah, October 1st, they switch up Team Heroes. So, obviously, when that comes, we're going to do an overview of the new heroes. Who should you go for? Who should you stay away from? Although, I think it's really dependent on what you like. Like, most people wouldn't go after a fullback. But I use a fullback in my offense. I like fullbacks. So, for me, Jalston Fowler was a great pickup. But I think for most players... He's probably the worst one you can get. Only because who uses fullbacks? I mean, I do. Most people don't. There we go. Alex Smith, touchdown. Just because, why the hell not? All right, so the first team of the week game of the year. We're flipping it. Blair Walsh. Khalil dropped it. No. It's okay. Our kicker threw to our center. That doesn't sound like something that could work. And the best part was it almost did. So for something as easy as you just saw, 2,000 coins. For something that easy was 2,000 coins. So I'll take that. We'll take our collectible. And we're going to be on our way to team of the year. But I'm really happy they brought the Team of the Week game back. And I'm really happy that it's not a full game. And that it's just a Madden moment. Which is really nice. So 2,000 coins, I will take that. And we'll get our collectible. Now is it a week exclusive? Oh, it is. Okay, so this is different. Instead of just being a Team of the Week collectible, it's Team of the Week, Week 1. Which means, you know, because last year, you just needed Team of the Week collectibles. Which meant if you got, let's say... Like, I remember there's a series, the uh, Super Bowl series, which awarded Team of the Week collectibles. So all you had to do was their new Gatorade. Yes, there was that later. But all you need to do was get additional Team of the Week collectibles at the end of the year to add in. Now, you actually need to do it each week. So they made it so you couldn't skip a week. So here it is, Team of the Year at the very bottom. So add 16 Team of the Week collectibles. Earned... Oh, no, it is anyone. Okay, it is any... But I got a week one. So earn a team of the year player that will be used. Earn a team of the year item that will be used to get a player item from team of the year program. So it looks like we're getting a set item. So that's a little different, but you know what? Free team of the year, I'll take it. Football Outsiders. You know what? I'll talk about it now so I don't have to do it later. Football Outsiders changed this year. Instead of being able to pull an elite 24-hour player, now they did the four golds like normal. But the Elite, instead of being a pull card, is actually a set card along with sleeper. You need six sleeper uh, collectibles. So quick change to Football Outsider. So I figured you guys should know that one. And there's I don't think there's much of any on the new uniforms. Just see if there's anything else I got to show you guys. There's a quick little update video. I think there's new flashbacks. Yeah, there is. But I'm sure you guys know about them by now. There you go, guys. Team of the Week game is back. Team of the Week players are looking good this week. I'm happy. I'll take it. Overall, I think things went pretty well in that game. Not too hard. So anyway, guys, not a hard game. Go do your Team of the Week game so you can get your Team of the Year player. Until next time, guys, Dozo03 signing out.